This is uh, part two of my lesson of uh, you should hear wars and women's wars um, slash nation should rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. And in the news of, uh, of Slovakia, of uh, Russia warning Turkey at the a, a uh, Ukraine drone strike. You know, back to, you know, what I was saying, you know, you know, like over there, you still have tensions going on over there in Syria, you know, the Syrian border over there, you know, you got Russia, you get, you know, you got the Russia uh, military group over there, then you got the Iran back allies over there, and then you got these different, uh, many, many different uh, organizations groups over there as well too so you know it's a lot of still a lot of activity still going on in that region over there in the middle east you know it's especially over you know uh this activity right here in uh in the eastern european region over there you know what after russia just warned turkey after the you know the little drone strike and everything so uh, i'm bring out a scripture to back that up And this is the book of Mark 13, verse 7. And it reads through the Holy Scriptures. And when ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars, you know, we're hearing that right now with these other nations warning each other. And these other nations are not scared of each other. You know, just like these other nations are not afraid of uh, modern-day Babylon, which is North America, according to the Holy Scriptures. You know, with their nuclear military might and strength and everything. That's why you're starting to see continual and increase of military drills, nuclear strikes, testing hypersonic capable nuclear missile capabilities. You know, you're starting to see that in these last days. And that's correlates to March 13 and 7. You should hear wars and rumors of wars. And continuing on with the reading. And be ye not troubled, <clears throat> for such things need to be. But the end should not be yet, right? Because the reason why I brought this out, because, you know, you're going to continue to see these uh, things increase in these last days. You know, and all these things must need be, because these are uh, biblical prophecies. You know, it might not look like it, but it's, it's boiling up to the point that it is showing that it's starting to heat up a little bit, you know, with these nations of... uh firing their nuclear missiles they doing military exercise drills you know it might be someone with each other doing it you know or separate by themselves you know like like i mentioned before the north korea they was testing their missiles not too long ago south korea was testing their missiles not too long ago now you got uh india testing their nuclear missiles you know these other nations they doing military exercise drills testing their hypersonic missiles these other nations uh buying uh military jets and all that you know and these are the signs of the times that's going on and it's need be because it's biblical prophecies are the times that we are living in because the end is not yet because more upcoming prophecies are coming to pass and we're seeing some of them coming to pass right before our eyes as well too and uh and expect to see more and increase of more upcoming prophecies in these last days, you know. And this is the book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 8. Which I've been bringing this out <laughs> lately. That's a lucky for that. Um, which is more common, you know. Uh, through the Holy Scriptures and it reads, For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be earthquakes in diverse places, and famine, and pestilence, and troubles. And these are the beginning of sorrows, right? Because, you know, these are the beginning of sorrows. As you start to see of increasing of these other nations are talking, <laughs> you know, talking reckless to each other in the warlike type fashion. You know, these other nations protecting themselves from these other nations against these other nations. Just in any case, anything goes down. And then I, uh, I believe uh, 
it was confirmation from the president of Taiwan. <clears throat> you know, uh, she spoke on the situation of the uh, uh, U.S., you know, the deployment of the military personnel and the military soldiers that have been deployed over there in Taiwan, over there in, over there in the sea over there, um, where they've been stationed over there. You know, they said um, they will fully support Taiwan just in case of any war, you know, just in case of any war pops off, you know. So that lets you know that's Roman's wars right there, you know. And, you know, you're going to see pestilence and different type of disease that you've never seen before. More dis uh, diseases that uh, you've seen in the past and start a resurgence. Sure, resurgence is way right back, you know. And then with this uh, situation with the waters thing and the mandate of the waters as well, too, you're going to see that uh, divide between the people that support the waters and the people that's not of support of it. You know, you're going to see that, uh, Nate, uh, you know, that divide between the two nations. You know, you're going to see up wars of the people. Like that military coup thing over there in Sudan. You know, you're seeing that. You know, and people are opposing the government of that over there in Sudan. And the people su uh, support it as well, too. And then they got full military takeover over there as well, too. So, you know, you're seeing all these many different things in the times that we are living in, you know. You know, and the uh, love of miniature wax cold. You know, you're going to start seeing cases of uh, people just waxing cold against each other in these last days as well, too. You're going to start seeing more increase of that. You know, you're going to see earthquakes in diverse places. Like I mentioned before in my previous video, I told about you've been, you know, been seeing, you know, increase of earthquakes for the past couple of months, you know, during the summertime and fall as well, too. Now we're heading into close to winters, you know, very soon. And like I reported, uh, it was a 5.1 earthquake in uh, Alaska, I believe. You know, and there was another earthquake over there in California recently as well, too. So, you know, you're starting to see more increase of these things you know in the last days and you know like the scripture says uh that shall be uh perilous times in the last days you know and you've been seeing that as well too so you know i'm not gonna do this uh lesson too long you know i just want to do a little quick little part two of this lesson because part two i had to do something right quick and then i just hopped back on and did a part two of this lesson you know of a uh, nation should rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. You know, you should hear wars and rumors of wars. And then you have an, uh, you know, uh, let me see. And you have in Russia warning Turkey after a Ukraine drone strike. You know, you mean stuff like that for an example. So with that, uh, I hope this was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yahweh And uh, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory to, to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, great millstone, Christmas word, truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. And uh, shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, Christmas word, truthfully, and sincerely. And uh, shalom to the Akim that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching his word truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. Until next time, I will say shalom.